Tonight I'm going to test some little Behringer mics. I think these are called C2s. <laughs> and I've, I've got the box here that they came in. Uh, nice little box with foam in it and everything. Came packed really well. Comes with uh, the little plastic clips that, that you don't have to have an adapter for. It's On the inside it's threaded for the little narrow, small hole or the big hole on the outside. So it went straight on to my uh, big arm here. I've got it going into, got it right now I've got it going into a, a uh, Focusrite. I guess it's 4i4, 2i4, whatever the heck these things are. So uh, it does require phantom power. I have to turn that on. And I've got, it's, it's a matched pair. So you got, it's a C2. You can see it has uh, some various frequency response or some various roll off uh, options there, like 10, minus 10 dB, you can roll off the bottoms. I'm, I'm gonna leave it flat, I'm gonna leave it up top. It has a 75 uh, dB signal to noise ratio. Pretty good, I think it's 16 millimeters, the little uh, cardioid pattern uh, condenser mic that's in in there. These things are about 50 bucks for a pair of two of them. So this is like super affordable. It comes with the little foam things if you wanna put those on. So I might try this for podcasting. I'm not going to try initially doing a um, an acoustic guitar with it. I like this too. So you can put on a stand like this or something if you want to. <laughs> you can do that or or mount it to a mic stand. You can put both of them. You can you can put this into of course this. You can have the stereo pair and take it out into the field, and you could angle them a little bit differently or something. But get kind of the the equivalent of what you might hear with your ears. So I'm going to mic up an acoustic guitar to see what it sounds like playing with these uh, 20, 20 to 20 uh, uh, frequency response. So that's pretty impressive. And I'll, sh I'll show you here in a second. Hang on. So this is inside the little owner's manual. And see, that is not totally flat, but from 200 hertz to up to like you know 10K, it's pretty freaking flat there, folks. Just a tiny dip uh, going from 10K up to 20. So that's pretty awesome. Of course, it's like it's cardioid pattern. There's some more information. Um, and on the back side here, it does have the specs. So you see 75 decibel signal to noise ratio, 20 to 20. Gold plated balance XLR connector. Very excellent. Yeah, that's that's pretty, pretty. If it's really what, if it really performs the way it says here, then I'm quite impressed. The Studio Condenser Microphone C2 package for around 50 bucks from Sweetwater. This is a Guild D50 from 1965. So it's one year younger than one year younger than me. here all the way into the kitchen with these things. <laughs> Right now 
looking at my iPhone. Uh, I've got my iPhone sitting about two feet away from me. Nah, about 18, 20 inches away. I've got these mics here. So you're hearing, I'm gonna let you hear some iPhone audio. Now you're gonna be hearing audio off of the two, the stereo pair. Test one, two, three, four, test one, two. And I have got a, uh, a foam rubber thing on the left one and foam rubber thing on the right one, test one, two. Test one, two, three, four. Let me turn it more toward me. Test one, two, three, four. Test one, two, three, four. So I think you're definitely going to need these uh, foam rubber things on the ends of these. I tell you what, when they're not on there, they hear everything. They hear every tiny little bit of breath. Maybe when I was recording the acoustic guitars a while ago, I should have had them on there, honestly. It's like they, they just pick up almost too much. But here I am, what, four inches away from that? Uh, test one, two, three, four. Test one, two. Test one, two, three, four. Test one, two. Hello, one, two, three, four. I like that, man. That sounds great. Well, at least it does in these headphones. So this is my test, and I have to say, the C2 mics from Behringer are impressive for 50 bucks. What if you were to like my, What if you buy three sets of them? You had like six of them, and you could record a drum kit or something with them. I mean, I'm, test one, two, three, four. It's got pretty good low end response, and it's picking up my voice pretty well. The low registers. Then, of course, the further back you get from it, the more you're going to get a uh, little bit different kind of audio. Test one, two, three, four. And can I, what I'm doing? I'm, I'm going uh, into a two i two now. Is what I'm using a Scarlet two i two. And I have got the air um, on, the air, whatever that is. Let me turn that off so you can see what it sounds like without it. Okay, now I've turned off the air feature, turned off the air feature. And it does sound a little bit different without it. Test one, two, test one, two. It's just a little bit different response, I think, when that's on. Test one, two. It sounds a little bit more lively, doesn't it? Anyway, yeah, I'm I'm pretty digging these. I'm going to use these mics. I think they'd be great for podcasting, especially if I'm doing like a guitar thing and want to sit and play guitar. I could have have one up top of my vocal and one down with the guitar. Might might try that actually. Let's, let's put this down here. Got one up here and maybe I'll sing a little something. Hang on. So I got this one set for like a vocal. This one set more down toward the guitar. My latest sun is sinking fast My race is nearly run My longest trials now are past My triumph has begun Oh, 